Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on a product that I got yesterday. So, it is Hot Designs. Wow, that's zooming a lot. Hot Designs. So, I got it from Ross. And they're $6. And the real price of it was $10. And it's a nail art pen. Just polish, treat, and decorate. Brush or polish. Tip for drawing. And it's a really cool set. And this is a glitz and glam colors. And they have six colors on it. And it's two in one. Brush and art pen. So it says hot designs, nail art pens. Practice tip for drawing. Brush for polish. Two colors in one. Base for standing. It says new. Hot designs. Nail art pins. If you can make dots and lines, you can make hot designs. And these are from Seen on TV. And they're new. It says squeeze for a perfect amount of nail polish. Draw with a position tip. And create beautiful designs. A great way to add beautiful nail art to your manicure and pedicure. It comes with six nail polish colors, sparkly silver, perezed pink, crushed berry, and hot orange, purple pizzazz, and yellow, I meant lemon yellow. So let's, get, so let's get this out of the package, and those are really pretty nails right there. It's really pretty. Okay, so let's open it. I don't see no instructions. Oh, wait, yeah, I see them. So there they are, and here is the packaging. I'm just gonna toss it. Okay. So you will be needing a napkin for this. Okay, so here's um attention. It says always shake pen well before use. This nail polish will be must mix completely with the ball bearing in the color tube will help you mix. And then uh, trap trapped air may cause nail polish to bubble while you're using a nettle tip. When opening your pen, always hold it upright. Avoid spilling. While holding upright, twist it to remove the top for the nail polish brush. After squeeze the tube gently while screwing on the top. Release the top tight. And then pull off the pin and squeeze the pin out gently. Never press, never press the tip. Always clean the tops before putting your pins away. That's for the napkins. And um, replace the cap slowly and carefully in the vent in the polish does not in in a cutly, I mean, flow from the pin by using the pin to unclog the pin. Okay, so that and here's the booklet. It says hot designs, nail art pins, instruction guide and design idea. So it says tip before use and then it says cleaning instructions and they give you these cleaning pins. They give you two of them. And it says before you begin. So yeah. Then here's some ideas. So here's flowers. A French tip. Two and one with dots. Watermelon. Hearts. Cheetah. Stars. Zebra. Ladybug. Chevron stripes. Flags. And snowman. And um... I think you could do any designs you want on it. You could be creative on it. Like doing minions, rainbows, and different kind of things. Okay, so let's get the nail or pins out. So here, how they look like they come in this plastic thing. I'll throw that to the side. Like that. Okay. So they come in... This hot pink and orange one. Yellow and purple. The purple's kind of shimmery. I like that. And silver and this peachy pink color, which is really, really cute. Okay, so. 
So you have to hold it upright, and right here you have to twist like that, and you have to twist it off. You have to hold it like this to not put spelling in it, and it's a really good texture of the nail polish. And it doesn't smell that much. It smells like a little bit, but not that much with regular nail polish. Okay, so we're going to be trying to do the flowers. And right here, these blank spots, it's guides that you can start in. So I'm going to be starting with yellow for the inside of the flower. And it's coming out a little. It's like... Oh my god, that's blurry. Okay, so yeah, it's coming up a little. Okay. So we are just going to be placing a dot. Wait, they say you have to squeeze gently. Mm, there, there's your dot. And then next step, you have to do a dot again. And then after, before putting the cap on, you have to... Do that. You have to clean it. And then, and then you can use a different color. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick. So you might hear a little bit of snuff. Snuff snuffles or sniffles. Okay, so then we're gonna be using this pink color. It's really really pretty pink and We're gonna be doing the five petals So one two three four and five and that looks so adorable That looks really adorable. I really like it Okay so we're going to be bringing back the yellow and placing a dot right there and right here. Yeah? It's clean. And then we're going to be doing different kind of petal colors like this orange. That's really pretty orange. And so... Oop! <laughs> Two... Three, four, five. That's kind of an upside down one, but it's still really, really pretty. Um, I'm gonna do a purple one. So, one, two, three, four, five. And now it came out much better than the orange one. So, yeah. So those are the flowers. Now we are going to be doing um, hearts. So we're going to be using this. So we are going to be using this peach color. And so we have to do three dots. Like a triangle shape but an upside down one. So... So we did that, and we're going to do the exact same thing, but dragging it. Ooh, that was kind of messed up, but you can redo it. And even though you mess up, you make, you make a heart. So now we get to do just random ones. Wow, those are really pretty. And those, how they look like, and they're really pretty. Okay, so. Next, we're going to be doing 
well, let's make these dry. So I'll be right back when they dry. Okay, they have dried, and now let's try to do stars. So <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing the yellow like that, and it's gonna be kind of hard, I guess. Um, I don't know. It might be hard. Um, yeah. Okay, so. You do, oh, these are hard to squeeze, but that in, that in. Well, that was kind of, hmm, weird, but yeah. Um, I'm going to try to do it like a regular star, just. No, a regular star doesn't work either, so that was really bad. Um, I'm going to try to do that thing again. Okay, that was really, no. Um, I don't know how to do the stars, so I might need practicing with the stars. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now we're going to be doing zebra, and I'm going to be using silver for, um, the stripes. So... Yeah, so one stripe, one stripe there, one stripe there, one stripe there, there, there. Wow, that was kind of good. I just copy what they have right there, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so are we going to be doing that again? A Z. Because there was a Z, Z. And then a 1, 2. Okay, so we are done with that. And we're going to be using this color for the white lines. Wow, these are kind of good. I really like them. So, yeah, I really like these. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the ladybug. And I'm going to be making the ladybug pink, I guess. So we are just going to make that. Yeah, <laughs> You saw that. Okay, so I might zoom in a little bit on this. Okay, so make a V and put a line. Well, that wasn't that good, but you'll try it again. Yay, and then we have to fill it. So yeah, we filled it, and we made dots. So that's kind of good. So let's do that again. And fill it. I'm not trying to fill it all, but my nails, I will fill them all. And I'm just going to be doing random eyes so one eye and then two eye there <laughs> it's kind of like creepy and yeah so that's kind of the review for the hot designs if you guys like this product it's at ross for um six dollars and it's a really good deal so i suggest you guys get these because if you want cool nail art designs and you know you're not a pro at it, these are so good for you to try out. So, thank you guys for watching this week's blog. Come I at mean, this week's theme, I guess. 
and comment and rate and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, please. So, see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah. I want you to request what videos I should do next. So, yeah. In the, in the comment bar or the comment section, please request what video you want me to do. So, yeah. Bye.